we have an iPhone 13 Pro Max that um, came for um, boot loop uh, issue, uh, restarting issue. So let's test this out. So, so it came in for restarting issue, not boot loop. So from the amp meter, the phone is not charging. Um, zero response. Nope, nada. So what we do next is um, uh, uh oh, battery, oh my lord. So what we do next is uh, we try to test if um, there's a short on, uh, or there's a trash store issue. And we're gonna use this um, Try stars tester uh, to test it. Right now, it's, in, it's running out of battery power, so which is something is definitely wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Well, try star Hydra okay, VCC main okay. So VCC main is okay. Try star Hydra is okay, but the problem is this is this thing is not reliable at all. So what we do next is, you know, um, what we do next is we're gonna check um, the battery connector. Um, so it's put on. Oh, something's wrong. Point two six volt. It should be. Um, Point three something, point three two, point three one. So usually, if there's a point two seven, point two six, it's likely there's a short somewhere, uh, partial short somewhere. So, what we need to do? This one sounds okay. This one. Sounds this one's okay. So they're all 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Now let's test the battery. Let's test the voltage on the battery. There's a positive right here, a negative right here. So the battery's getting 2.67 volt, which is fine. Uh, this means it's just low battery. So let's and see if we're getting output. So we plug in the charging port into the phone and we're gonna test to see the output here. Oh, we get 0.36 six volt. But that's not right though. We're supposed to get three we're supposed to get three point eight volts. But we only get three point six volts. That means something is is short. Um so that, the battery can't charge a bit, you know, it's below three point volt. So it needs at least three point eight volt. Um, so you need it needs a higher potential for in order to charge the battery. The next step is you know we need to take out the board and split it perhaps up so we can go in there and test it. Just right now, we can't do anything. Uh, right now, all we know is uh, there may be a short somewhere. Um, that's why the battery is, you know, put out a very low, uh, not very low, but you know, put out 3.6 volts, which is not enough to to charge the battery and power it on. So at least we need at least uh, 3.8 volts. Also, when we, we did the diamond reading uh, on the battery connector. 
is only two it's only point two seven votes. It's supposed to be give out at least three, you know, point point three uh zero votes. So that definitely something's wrong with the board. Um so the only way to find out, you know, do a full diagnos uh, di diagnostic on this is to take up the board from the housing and put on the heater and split the boards apart. We'll be right back. So we got the board off. Uh, a couple of chips fell apart. Um, fell out, I mean, this one and this one. Um, what we do is gonna put it back together and test. So it's likely this one was dropped. That's the reason why it's not it's not powering up. Um, so which way is it? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which way is it. So just put this together back, back. Let's put this one back together. Uh oh. Come on, my friend. Move over. Make room. Oh, this one doesn't sit right. Okay. And then we have another chip right here. Six, six. Bloody hell. So the problem is, which way is it? Dot right there. Let's go to ZXW and uh, maybe we can find which way it goes. So let's switch to monitor screen. Here is ZXW. So the chip's right here. So A1 is right there. So so the inductor it doesn't matter which way it goes. But this one, um, where's the dot at? Is that a dot right there? <sighs> Man. So, so A1's right here, so we need to find that dot. Okay, so that dot is right there. So dot right here, A1 right there. Um, should be all right. More flux. There we go. Hmm. Much better now.
Okay. Yep, that dot is right there. Hey, one. Uh, ooh. So this phone was dropped. So this chip right here was kind of broken off as well. What the heck is that chip for? So we got this chip uh, was broken off. This chip was broken off. So this chip was broken off. So. What else we have? Let's check the board. Well, this is crack right here. So it looks like this phone was dropped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like it. So it's fine. Oh, what my mind? This one's over here. Oh, that's what I Okay. Now let's check this board. Uh, the bottom board. Oh, we need to clean this stuff off. Yeah, let's now test to see if this charge just ooh. oh it's charging now it looks like that was the issue phone is fully charged at 2.1 amp so basically this phone was dropped and uh, some of the components fell off um, uh, there was an inductor that fell off and there was another chip that fell off. Um, so we put that the inductor back. Um, that's the reason why the power couldn't, uh, phone couldn't power up because that inductor fell apart, fell off the board. Um, it's important. Inductor is pretty important in the phone because it is, you know, it will provide power for the phone. Um, for a certain section of the uh, component of the phone. So the phone is charging right now, so we just wait um, a bit. Let's 
So it's charging at 2.1 amps. So once it's charged up, we check it again. Okay, so the phone has been charging for a while for, so it's about 3%. Um, look like it's charging and it's working fine. Yeah, I'm trying to test the touch issue. It's working fine. Um, okay.